So, is soldering science or magic? Well, I actually propose that it's a little bit of both. And let's talk about the different issues that affect us when we're soldering. First of all, do we have enough heat? And this is a this is a concern when you're talking about what torch you use, what type of flame you use, how much fuel you feed the torch. All those things are important. But remember, the issue with the heat is crucial. Secondly, is the item that you're trying to solder really clean? Um, one of the biggest problems with soldering stuff is finger oil or dirt or items like that that could stop the solder itself from flowing. So it's important that everything is genuinely clean. I tend to clean everything in the ultrasonic and then not touch it and hold everything with tweezers until we set it up and then we put the flux on there and the flux is the last cleaning and then we should move forward from there. Do the seams that you're trying to solder, are they tight or are they a big gap? Solder will fig, fit larger gaps. It will flow and fill it, but it's not going to be a strong bind. The tighter the seam you have, the more effective the solder is going to flow. So when you have tight seams, the heat transfers and the solder tends to flow and fill them more easily. So think about how tightly things fit together. The other aspect that you have to consider is the size of the two items that you're trying to solder together. I recently saw where a lady was trying to put a bezel on a sheet of silver that was six inches long by an inch wide, and the bezel was only about a half an inch in diameter. Every time she tried to do it, she melted the bezel. Well, the problem there is each of the items has to meet a similar heat for your solder to flow. So if one item is larger and one item is smaller, uh, it's much more difficult. The magic aspect of soldering jewelry is that you honestly can't tell what temperature your flame is at or what temperature your metal is at. If you have two different pieces of metal, obviously the small one is going to get hotter than the fast one. You have to learn how to control that with your torch. And there is a lot of magic involved in that. 